Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today what I'm going to be doing is uh, trying to extract some gold off of some cell phone SIM cards here that I ordered on eBay. I'm going to get right to it. Here are the two lots of uh, cell phone SIM cards that I purchased on eBay for this experiment. This one down here tells me I'm going to get 500 cards. This one up here says I'm going to get uh, two pounds of SIM cards. So, we'll open the packages and see exactly what we got. Okay, in this uh, bag here, there was uh, it was an order for 500 SIM cards. And I placed three orders, so I should have 1,500 SIM cards in here. What I'm going to do now is just open them up here. And... Uh, I'm going to throw them on a scale and weigh them. Okay, in this beaker here, I've got uh, 312 grams of uh, SIM cards. That's what they look like. They just had the tops trimmed off of them, which was nice. This box here, it was, uh, advertised weight was two pounds of SIM cards. We'll open this one up and see what we got. And this one's got about 944 grams. That's including the bag, but that's pretty close. A, a pound is, uh, I believe, 454 grams times two is about 900. So this is a little over. So it should be good to go here. Alright, trying to figure out which way to go uh, with these SIM cards here. In here I've got a little hydrochloric acid and some hydrogen peroxide. And I'm just trying to see what this will do in this beaker. I'm going to put some hydrochloric acid and a little bit of bleach. And we're going to see... Uh, what that does. This is regular old household bleach you buy at the grocery store. And we'll just let those set for a little bit and come back and check on them here in a little bit and see what happens. Okay, I've let these uh, two experiments in the back. I set up a third one here where I used uh, some 3% hydrogen peroxide in uh, hydrochloric acid. Here's the uh, bleach. And uh, as you can see, I can see some little specks of gold in the solution there, but there's some precipitate down there that's formed. And the solution looks real dirty, so I don't think I'm going to use that method. I don't think I'm going to use bleach. And over here with the uh, concentrated hydrogen peroxide, which is this stuff that I get from the uh, beauty salon, would be 40%, but I don't think it's that high. Somebody, uh, one of the viewers wrote and said it's only about uh, 12%, but it's still higher than the kind you get at the grocery store. But as you can see, it's made a real dirty solution. And I can see some tiny gold foils in there but I, I don't think this is the way to go either now if you look over here at my third experiment I let these set all night by the way they've been uh, sitting here for about 24 hours and this one the solution looks dirty but I can see some nice gold foils down in there the biggest chunks and that's what I'm after is those gold foils so I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and set up and uh, use 3% hydrogen peroxide with an air bubbler and some hydrochloric acid. Go ahead and set that up right now. Okay, I've assembled all the necessary components here for the, uh, for the ex extraction of the gold. I've got a 5-gallon bucket here, just a regular old 5-gallon bucket. Inside of it, I've got a smaller bucket that I've drilled some holes in. And uh, I've got to point out, this is not my idea. I've seen someone else do this. And uh, 
So I'm just copying their idea here. But what I'm going to do is I've got my uh, bubbler over here. I'm going to sit the uh, tube down inside the bucket underneath the smaller bucket down inside there. And then I'm going to pour the SIM cards in, add hydrochloric acid, and add 500 ml of uh, hydrogen peroxide. Get this thing rolling right now. Okay, what I'm going to do is take this uh, tube here. I just got it bubbling through some hydrochloric acid there just to show you that there's uh, some air going through it. I'm going to disconnect this tube here. And what I'll do is I'm going to put it down inside the bucket underneath this bucket so that the air will bubble up through those holes in the bottom of this bucket into my SIM cards. All right, there it is, centrally located there. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to pour these SIM cards in carefully. So I can do this one-handed. I'll show you on the camera here. All right, there's all our SIM cards. And now what I'm going to do is add some uh, hydrochloric acid here so I can just cover them up. Hydrochloric acid. You gotta watch this stuff. You gotta wear a mask or do this with proper ventilation because the hydrochloric acid fumes will put a hurting on your nose. I got about a three quarters of a gallon of acid in the bucket there. Had to open up a new bottle. We'll go ahead and add some more hydrochloric until we get all them circuit cards covered with hydrochloric acid. All right, that took about another three quarters of a gallon, so about a gallon and a half. All right, I'm going to add the rest of this hydrochloric acid here that I had the uh, bubbler tube going through. I just had it bubbling through there to show that there was some air movement through that hose. I'm going to add that right in. And now I'm going to pour in about uh, 500 ml or one half of the bottle. I've got a one liter bottle here of 3% hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to pour about 500 ml into the uh, SIM cards now. about half the bottle and we'll just let those bubble now until those foils release and then we'll uh, we'll harvest the uh, gold foils and refine it into pure elemental gold the nice thing about using that perforated bucket is you can uh, you can uh, use it to agitate the circuit cards or the uh, sim cards shake off the gold foils down into the big bucket and then pull off the uh, blank pieces of plastic up out of there and use this thing like a strainer so like this alrighty we're just gonna I'm just gonna loosely cover this thing up just so nothing falls in there and remember I'm working in a fume hood here or uh, the fume hood's drawing the uh, vapors out. So uh, you don't want to try to do this inside an enclosed area. You'll fill the uh, room full of hydrochloric acid fumes and start gagging on them. The time right now is about 1.30. We just started the experiment. And uh, we'll go from here. I wanted to get a shot of this uh, aquarium pump. I bought this at Walmart. Well, you can buy it at any pet supply store places that sells fish aquariums. It's just a standard air pump that pumps the air into my uh, into my solution here to keep it moving.
okay the experiment has been on now for about six hours at 7 30 p.m and uh, i don't know if you can see them cards looks like some of the uh, gold is being stripped off of those uh sim cards are loosening up i'll pull this up out of here and see if we can see anything underneath i don't see a whole lot of foils down in there yet so we'll just drop this back down and let it continue to bubble yeah I reached down in there and got me one of the foils or one of the uh, circuit cards or sim cards here you can see it's uh, stripping the gold off pretty quickly too so we'll just let this uh, go ahead and stay in here for a couple a few more hours anyway and we'll Come back and check on it here in a few hours. It is 7.30 the following morning. We've been on for about 18 hours now. And I just want to check in here and see what's going on. Oh yeah, I see some foils coming off there. So we're getting some foils to come off these uh, SIM cards now. It's just a matter of uh, letting it uh, bubble a little longer. So we can get some kind of yield. The experiment has been on for about uh, 40 hours now. And uh, I'm just going to look in here and see what we got going. I can see some gold foils coming off of there. This is gonna looks like it's gonna work, man. It's gonna take a while. I'm just gonna leave these uh, bubble in this container until I see all the gold foils have been uh, removed from each of those SIM cards. started the experiment on Saturday. Today is Tuesday, so it's been on almost three days now. It's about 10 a.m. Just want to look in here and see what we got going on. I can see some gold foils coming loose there. Still a few pieces that don't have foils lifted off of them yet so I'm just gonna let this sit there and bubble some more until I get uh, all the gold foils off of here I've had these uh, sim cards on bubbling in acid pros an acid peroxide solution now for about nine days and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull them out of here now. And I'm going to place these uh, in another bucket. Let this drain out. And I can see some gold foils floating around in our solution down there. Looks real dark, almost black. Set this in another bucket. All right, I'm gonna rinse the SIM cards off with some tap water here. This is just tap water. I'm rinsing them off.
whole bunch of gold foils down in that rinse. So what I'm going to do is set this aside for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, pour this off into some beakers here. tiny gold foils floating on the top of both solutions and I've got some uh, little gold specks down in the bottom settling out on both beakers what I'm doing now is go ahead and uh, do a quick stannous chloride test here Let's see what we get with this see a bunch of gold in solution there. That stannous test looked negative to me, but just in case, I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, sodium metabisulfite to each beaker and precipitate out any gold that might have went into solution. filter out the solutions filtered out. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, transfer the solution back into this beaker so I can make some more room to get the rest of the solution filtered out.
those looks like a very very small yield here plus they're sticking to the side of the uh, Buckner funnel there and I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it into this back into this big beaker now and try to dissolve it and get a yield for us paper here I'm going to wet it and wipe the gold foils off the inside of the funnel here and add it to the beaker. tested both of these solutions uh, with stannous chloride there's no gold in solution in either one of these they're just straight waste and so what I'm doing here is pouring it into my waste buckets that are located outside and what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat this waste with some sodium hydroxide lye that's sodium hydroxide and I just add it to the uh, acidic solution until the solution becomes neutralized and then all the uh, the metallic uh, solids will precipitate out as metal hydroxides and then I'll filter those out and I'll process the waste the rest of the way for disposal. Judging from the amount of foils that I got from the uh, acid peroxide, uh, I'm gonna, I think there's still quite a bit of gold left in these uh, circuit cards, or these uh, SIM cards here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in a pan and incinerate those, and burn it to ash, and then try to extract the rest of the gold from these SIM cards. I've got a nice hot fire going here. I'm going to go ahead and set these uh, SIM cards in a steel pan on that fire and see if I can burn everything off and just leave the gold behind. I'm going to add a little bit of charcoal lighter fluid here, see if I can get them to burn a little quicker. Okay, the SIM cards have completely burned. There's no more material combusting, no smoke, They're completely ash. I'm gonna take them off the fire here and go ahead and let them cool. I've got the incinerated uh, SIM cards here. Everything's cooled back down. I'm beginning to think that the uh, the acid peroxide step in this process 
was a waste of time. I should have just went straight to incineration, I think. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this stuff into this beaker and then hit everything with some aqua regia. The filters with the, uh, with the gold foils is still in this same beaker here down at the bottom. It's going to add it all to one beaker and then process everything with the aqua regia. in here I've got the incinerated uh, sim cars I'm gonna go ahead and cover everything up now with some some hydrochloric acid the 1500 ml level I'm gonna cover it up set it over here on some uh, medium heat some nitric acid, concentrated nitric acid. I'm going to put about 100, maybe 150 ml in here. And we'll just let this cook for a while. set up to do a uh, filtering here. I'm going to put a little sharpie in my uh, dish. Put the beaker on it so it tilts the beaker towards me. Now what I'll do is I've got a tube here. I'll siphon the solution out of the beaker and down into this filter funnel that I have set up here for vacuum filtration. Okay, I've got a tube full of water here, put my thumb over one end of it, put the other end down in the beaker, and then let my thumb off in the filter funnel there. down to the end of the filtering on this and what I'm going to do is I've got the liquid filtered I'm going to put it up here in another flask or another beaker and the reason I'm doing this is because this liquid came through real easy when I pour this uh, fine particulate uh, matter into that funnel it's going to take probably several hours to filter through because it's going to load the filter paper up and slow the filtering process way down. So rather than running all the liquid through that, I got the easy liquid out first and I'm going to go ahead and harvest that and put it in this beaker. Now I'll filter the rest of the particulate matter out of that beaker.
This will be here filtering quite some time. This is all uh, that particle matter that I had in the beaker. It's going to load the filter paper up, slow the filtering process way down. So it's just going to come out drips at a time here. Using a little hydrochloric acid here to rinse the beaker out. It took about six hours for the uh, vacuum to pull all that solution through that filter. And now here what I'm going to do is transfer both solutions to a large 4 liter beaker so I can precipitate it with some sodium metabisulfite. Before I go any further, I'm going to test the solution with some stannous chloride Make sure I've got gold in solution. Okay, I've got a purple stain there, confirming that I've got gold in solution. Based on this test, it's not going to be very much. I suspect less than uh, maybe a gram, gram and a half is all I'm going to get out of this. Now I'll add sodium metabisulfite to precipitate the gold in solution. Here you can see the gold coming out of solution when I add the uh, sodium metabisulfite. Uh, it comes out nice and brown just like it should but then if you watch it all goes right back into solution the solution goes back from brown back to green that's probably due to a bunch of excess nitric acid being in that solution it's re-dissolving the gold just as fast as it's precipitating the gold out of solution started to precipitate then it went right back into solution so I'm going to add some more sodium metabisulfite see if we can get it to come out of solution and stay out of solution the uh, solution to settle overnight and I came back out this morning and I don't see any gold settling down so uh, I think I still might have gold in solution I'm gonna add some more SMB sodium metabisulfite and see if I can get it to drop Check it again with some stannous chloride. I don't see any metals in solution with that stannous test. I see a little bit of a particulate matter floating on the top of the surface there. That might be the gold coming out of solution. I'm going to add some more SMB and hope for the best here.
tested the solution with stannous chloride. I've got a little bit of gold down in the bottom of this big beaker, but it sure isn't much. I'm real disappointed with the amount of gold that I'm seeing down in the bottom of this beaker. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, proceed to see if I can get it out and get it melted into a little button or a bead here. I've got a spot plate here, some ammonium thiocyanate. I'm going to put a little bit of this in the spot plate. Just a crystal of it or so. Now I'm going to draw out some uh, some of this liquid. If it turns bright red or blood red looking, then that means that this solution's got iron in it. And that's what I suspect is here. If this turns red, this means iron. See that bright red, blood red stain there? That confirms that we've got iron in solution. Iron in solution looks just like gold in solution in some cases and can be uh, very deceiving. It's iron in solution, not gold. I'm getting down to the bottom of the beaker now and uh, the material in that bottom of that beaker is mostly chemical. Probably some SMB that I uh, added because I added so much to it. So that's just mostly chemicals in there with a little bit of gold interspersed with it. I'm just going to go ahead and filter it all out, get it all into the filter paper, and then try to burn it in a milk dish. I've got all the liquid out of the beaker now, and uh, what we can see down here is some crystallized chemical, probably some SMB, from uh, where I added so much to precipitate the gold. There's gold trapped in that SMB. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and get it all into the filter and then put it in a melt dish and try to burn it all off and melt up a gold button. See if we can get us a yield on these uh, cell phone SIM cards. Now what I'll do is go ahead and uh, try to get those crystals rinsed down out of that uh, beaker and into the funnel. down in the uh, solution there as I uh, rinse these crystals down. It's real fine brown powder. with some of the gold in it flicked out of the beaker there when I was adding it to the funnel. So I'm just going to tear this off, put it right in the funnel so we can salvage that little bit there. Rinse the gold down into a central mass at the bottom of the filter with a little distilled water. I've got a melt dish that I use for melting gold. It's not absolutely clean, but I don't expect this gold to be high purity. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in that uh, melt dish. There's the contents of our filter. Still got a little, little bit of crystals in it. A little bit of gold clinging to the side of the uh, filter there. I'm going to put the whole thing in the melt dish and we're going to put a flame on it and melt it. Now I'm going 
to take the melt dish with the filter and a little bit of gold that we recovered put it over here on my melt table I'm going to cover it liberally with some borax here try to keep that paper from flying out of the uh, out of the dish as I put some heat on it now I'll start my torch here and go ahead and put the torch on and start to melt Okay, the reason for the large amount of borax in that melt dish is to act as a glue to hold the bits of filter paper in the melt dish as I do the melt. Small amounts of gold cling to the filter paper and if they're allowed to fly out of the dish, it'll create a loss. The borax acts as a glue and holds the filter paper in the melt dish and as I, as I do the melt, you can see tiny balls of gold being rendered from the bits of filter paper as it burns away. The filter paper will completely burn away during this process. Okay, here what I'll do is uh, there's a large amount of molten borax in that melt dish. So I just pour it out on the brick there. It'll harden and I can scrape it off later. But I just uh, wanted to get the borax out of the dish so that I can reach in there with a pair of tweezers and uh, get the small gold bead out of there. Here's our little gold bead from the cell phone SIM cards. Uh, during the experiment, I thought it was going to be a total failure. It's not that great of a success. It's a very small amount of gold. See how much it weighs here. We got 1.7, 1.8 grams of pure gold from the uh, from the cell phone SIM cards. Okay, this will conclude the SIM card gold recovery experiment. I was able to add, extract 1.7 grams of pure gold from those cell phone SIM cards. Uh, I've been working on this one for about a week, so it took a long time. I wasn't quite sure what process to use. I started with the acid peroxide. And I didn't get very many foils at all off of that. And then I went ahead and burnt the uh, SIM cards in a metal pan. Tried to extract them, extract the gold that way. Uh, either way, I was able to get 1.7 grams of pure gold from the cell phone SIM cards. It's probably 99%. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just throw that in with my next batch of carrot scrap. And refine it again into some some high purity gold. Anyway, uh, I'd like to take a moment here to, to uh, invite you to look at my uh, my eBay channel, my eBay store. I've got a lot of nice things for sale on there. 
uh, some nice gold jewelry with genuine gemstones in that in them. Well, it's a lot of nice stuff at a uh, very a fraction of the price you'd pay at the jewelry store. My uh, eBay username is Baffleus, B-A-F-E-L-O-U-S. And uh, I need to point out that I, I only ship to USA locations, so if you're looking for me in a foreign country, I probably won't come up because I uh, don't ship internationally. I only ship to USA locations. But uh, for folks here in the United States, Take a look at my uh, eBay store. See if there's some stuff on there that you might like to buy. It'll help support me so that I can make some more of these videos. That'll conclude this video. Thanks for watching. Coming up soon is my Platinum Group Metal Recovery from Automotive Catalytic Converters. Coming soon.